the perfect purple feather. Jacob tossed and turned in the middle of the night. Something seemed different, not quite right. He felt a prickle at the back of his head. Something was poking from the pillow on his bed. He pulled it and pushed it and pulled it some more. What he had in his hand, he couldn't ignore. A perfect purple feather. How cool, said Jacob, so silky and sleek. I like how this feather tickles my cheek. He sat wide awake in his dark little room and saw out his window a bright yellow moon. Hey, Jacob, chirped a bluebird in a nearby tree. I'm missing a wing, just look at me. Please give me that feather you hold in your hand so I can fly in a flash to a faraway land. Scat, fly away, meowed a black catty cat. That feather's for me, anyone can see that. It brightens my whiskers, a look quite unique. With that purple feather, I'll be very chic. A porcupine said glumly, it's a sad, sad life. No one will hug me, I'm as sharp as a knife. But with that feather, I'd be soft and so sweet. I could charm anyone that I happen to meet. declared the centipede, it's just not fair. I have lots of legs, but not one little hair. If I had that feather, I'd primp and I'd preen. Why, I think I'd feel just like a queen. An ant crawled to the centipede's side. Hey, come with me and we'll go for a ride. That feather will help us sail far away. Come climb aboard, it's a beautiful day. A loud owl scolded, I'm old and I'm wise. That feather's for me, it's no surprise. I'm a great writer and here's what I think. That feather will make a fine pen for my ink. The doggy next door feared being left out. So she yapped at the owl and said with a pout, give me the feather which waves like a flag, I'll make it my tail. I'll give it a wag. Suddenly, the bedroom shook with a roar as a black and gold tiger pranced through the door. That feather will make a fine toothpick to munch after I've eaten that doggy for lunch. Luckily, brave Jacob did not lose his head and he chased off that tiger with the pillow from his bed. Just then a mischievous tick butted in. He picked up the feather and said with a grin, what a great feather, it's soft as a rose. I'll use it to tickle that elephant's nose. The elephant giggled and rolled around the floor. Over and over she rolled toward the door. Then she raised her trunk high and ah, 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 choo! She sneezed the most magnificent sneeze. It was so amazingly loud, it shook the tick's knees. Out flew the feather and it wafted up high. It twirled and it twirled through the dark and blue night sky. Jacob thought about the feather, then he pondered some more. Soon his eyes gently closed and he started to snore. And the perfect purple feather, where did it fly? Past the yellow moon, higher up in the sky? Perhaps it will end up somewhere nameless and new. Or maybe it will land right here with you. The end.